reacting to my championship predictions. My predictions are terrible, like someone in the comment section said. Wait for the Premier League one though, where I've got Arsenal second, Southampton to go down, and more. I'll do it in the same order as the championship video, the prediction video. Uh, Watford finished 11th, this is my team, we got 63 points. My local team also got 63 points. How weird is that? I can't support this team. Non-league mid-table since 2017. Do you know how boring that is? I look at for their results and that's it. The similarities between Dagenham and Watford. 2-0 on the final day. Losing the local derby 2-0 away. Three different cultures or managers. And then Ben Shrevens. I made that prediction video on the 27th of July. We had made four transfers at that point. Bale, Gaspar, Manoine Hamer. All disappointing, Bale got the goals against Stoke, Middlesbrough and Norwich, maybe someone else. Yeah, rather them. But he went back on loan to that team, trying to win. I like Colney, who and Portius. Chowdhury, I wouldn't mind if he came back next season. But Leicester probably want him in the Championship next year. Also known from Villa, played three times. What a season. He might be like Vapa Didi. Another player on loan from Villa, Keenan Davis, seven goals. I know he wasn't a goal scorer, you can see it there. But oh my days. He plays 90 minutes every game as well. One goal, one assist against Stoke. Someone at this club is going to make his loan a permanent now. Hassan Kamala, last year's player of the season. He's gone to Udinese next season. Two red cards. He wasn't in the squad. Maybe he, maybe he was injured. And then he comes back in when the season's dead. I don't get it. Last player I want to talk about in the transfer section. Averuj went from scoring in the Champions League. That was against Maccabi Tel Aviv. It says higher for but I think it's still Tel Aviv. Also in the qualifiers against Midland. But you can't start for Watford in our worst ever team. And then he was playing against Sheffield Wednesday on the 21s. Imagine if Ben Fee could go on to sell him for 50 million. We're going to get laughed at. Yo, Pedro's already gone to Brighton. This RB will make him elite. 11 goals, 4 assists. Two years ago, he got 9 goals, 3 assists. He got in FIFA's team of the season. But no loot and players did. We would be a lot lower without him. He's played everywhere. He was made captain when Cathcart or Cleverly wasn't in the team. So I got 13 goals and 10 assists two years ago. I never thought I'd say this, but he needs to leave. Get players that actually want to play for the club. Can't really blame him as a club is he shambles and he was in the championship two years ago. Forrest signed Dennis and he barely plays. The last person won't play in 46 championship games all with his attitude. Another team Watford have similarities with this season is Chelsea. 
three managers. The first one was harshly sucked. Edwards and Tuchel needed more time. I put both teams fifth in my predictions. We will probably both finish 11th. Not scoring many goals mid-table. A lot of players at the club. Injuries. Another one is owners that don't know what they're doing. The only game I went to was this one. I'll go to more games if this company wants to give me the job. Been waiting nearly two months. Was I watching the wrong team? It was 2 0 in 16 minutes. I got to I got the prediction almost what's on if you watch the video. Put Millwall 15th because they barely had a sword and lost Jed Wallace. Sion Fleming was signed when that video came out, but I had no idea who he was. The easiest final four games you'll ever see, and he took three points out of 12. He struggled against Blackpool, I was watching that one. I didn't see the Blackburn one. Being Watford home and away without conceding a goal. I'd rather finish 11th instead of losing the playoffs like that. I wanted to see Millwall versus West Ham as well next season. And I think some of this is wrong as I doubt I went from 1st to 21st in a week. The two Leeds players had already been signed on loan, signed Callum Styles, so I know. Watmore and Burr, I think in January, Vogel Summer from Union Berlin, who scored against Watford. I had never heard of Tom Bradshaw before this season. I know who he is now after a hat trick at a den against Watford. That was his first three goals before Bristol City. Another hat trick against Sheffield United. He has 40 goals for them, 16 by this season. Fleming got 15. Three against Preston. Goal and assist against Preston. His goals dried up at the end. I think the Blackpool one was a penalty. Ajax Academy player. I put Huddersfield 12th. They were only 10 points off in the end, which is why I'm out. Neil Warnock returning to Salem. I've had three different managers, Schofield and Fotheringham. They've only lost to Swansea since March the 15th. Building a Warnock a statue. I thought they were going to stay up after beating Birmingham. Then it was 4-0 twice in a row. 4-0 at home to Coventry. He signed a Europa League winning goalkeeper. In January, Hellick from Barnsley, Matty Lowen, Anton Knockard, I don't think he played. Hungwell helped them stay up. Replacement for Sar already lined up. Karama scored a bit. Wackhorn. Last season when he finished third, they had Colwell, O'Brien, Toffolo, Sorba Thomas and Zanani. I put Norwich third, out of one in front of the three. I thought James Lawrence all was mad for putting them seventh. 
Watford and Norwich have a three goal difference. What happens? Mid table with Preston or Fens. What is their home form? So they lost to Blackpool. Eight, five, and ten. Go down. Twenty-seven goals of twenty-seven conceded. They've got a bit of wave form. When they won the championship the other two times, they started off bad and then went on to win games and it looked like they were going to do that. Apparently they were top. Luton Town got Dean Smith sucked and then they went on to get a Premier League job. Manager bounced with David Wagner, 4-0 and 4-2 both away. Great 3 2 win at the den. Then they only go and win one more game. And another tricky place to go. Friday 3 pm. Middlesbrough 4 1 down at half time. It said that Paul was injured, so if they used Don, they would get relegated. Sound clean sheets. You can see a 9 4 Southampton when he was out. Yeah, he got first stop. I said that they had lost Bundia from two years ago. Could say the same for Puku. 10 goals looks good, but none were. He's not scored since January the 14th. Thirteen goals for Sargent. They all came at the start of the season as well. Middlesbrough West Brom. They had also lost Ben Godfrey, Oliver Skip, and the manager Daniel Vark from two years ago. I said Luton would finish thirteenth. Swap them and Norwich. They've scored the same amount or the same amount as Norwich, but a better defence. The three of the best defence is the top three. Thank you, Sheffield United, for winning all those games. I said on March the fourteenth that they would bottle it to Middlesbrough. Luton being them at Bramall Lane. They've won or lost every game since drawing 0 0 at Rotherham. Nathan Jones left Luton in 10th, and Rob Edwards has got them up to third. Watford sacked him. At Watford, he had the pressure of must finishing in the playoffs, automatics. I heard a Luton fan saying he didn't have to finish in the playoffs this season. 17 points behind Luton is a crime. They've got players who give their all for the badge and to get Luton up. As players at Watford are only there for the money. Irish guy, the football YouTuber, said we would finish 10th. I said before the Birmingham game, if we finish 10th or lower, I'll spend the day in Luton. That will be when the playoff semi final home game against Sunderland is on. It was one all both times, Sunderland getting late equalisers. And uh, the yellow penalty at the Stadium of Light. Carlton Norris scoring 20 goals. Has to die to win penalties all. I put a hole in 23rd, they were never in the bottom three. At the start though, they lost 5-2 to Steve Bruce's West Brom. Steve Bruce used to manage hole. It's 3-1 to QBR, 3-0 to Stoke at home, 3-0 to Swansea. The defending in that game is laughable, 
and show to all the lads who lost his job for that. I watched them against Huddersfield. They made 23rd look insane. I said in the Birmingham career mode that they're awful, but they have two winnable games both away, they win and won. A lot of draws for them, 4 1 at Wigan. Two nil against West Brom, the four four against Sunderland, and yet Sunderland have still got in. Also losing five one to Stoke at home. Being Watford one 0 I was in two fan the former player scoring a penalty. Someone called Andy Dawson took over for a bit, then they gave it to Leon Rossino. He made 161 appearances for them between 2010 and 2015. And he was also assistant to Wayne Rooney at Derby where they nearly made the great escape. Oscar Estupinian scored 13 goals. Three against Coventry, three against Norwich and West Brom. Four in a row. Commentary again, and he wasn't in the squad for the last seven. Two fan played 335 minutes for Watford, what a joke. I don't think he celebrated. I thought Seri would down towards because he, he's at hole. And when he was at Nice, he was doing with Barcelona. They were losing this game, and then Seri scores in the 93rd minute. On the 4th, I had Rotherham. How are they not in the bottom three at all? There you go, your club. If it goes down, two wins away from home. I don't think draws is all right. You can't even be relegated Wigan. So I think, you know, where they're going next season as well. 4-0 win against Reading. That's because Joel Long is terrible. The only away wins was somehow against Sheffield United and also Stoke. They had to go 24 because they saw the Heatway and the Dapo to League One clubs. But Laser win in the end. I don't know if that was in January. Players I've heard of that have signed Morrison, Blackett, Norton, Coffey. He's at commentary because he should have got a penalty against Watford in the second half of the season. Bailey Wright, Coventry, Domingos Cunha didn't play, Callan Rammel, Jordan Hugel. When I was talking about Norwich, I said he's a decent striker in the championship. How many did he get? He got five. Two goals each against his former clubs. That guy just wants to play for every single championship team. Paul Wall left to join Derby. And he didn't even get in the playoffs. He had been at Rotherham since 2017. I put Burnley second, but it probably would have been first after the wind hole had ended. They sent about, at the time, were Kevin Long, Harwood Bellis, Egan Riley and McNally. And they had Bayer, Ekdal, Elderkill, they Charlie Taylor at Cinebuck. Players that they signed after the video, Savori, Chernoff, Teller, Benzer Manuel, Lemfrey, Lemfrey, they were dodgy at the start, getting used to the new style of play, they were one new up so many times and then they conceded in the last minute for a 1-1 draw. 
Sean Dyche just won fire one, so I'm confused. Fire two to Sheffield United. And anyone unbeaten other than losing one game. But they lost it on purpose, so they could win the league at Blackburn. I went to that 2-1 to Burnley. And then what happened is 5-2 at full time. Rizard, a Burnley fan, waited something like Sheffield United is the only place I was worried about. Nathan Tellos going 17 goals, why his parent club play Theo Walcott and Uyanesi every week. It's hilarious. Put West Brom first because I was hoping they would sign a goalkeeper. All three of them play 10, 25, 16. David Button is terrible. Sarah's halfway line goal. Hannibal Maysbury's free kick. I said about Ben Foster going back there. He did play for West Brom this season in a charity match. And he did come out of retirement to play for one of his former teams. I've been distracted. I've made Tyra Wani my captain on FPL when he's got a brace in 21 minutes. Anyway, a smile on my face right now. Brandon Thomas Asante was their top scorer in 9. He got him from Salford. I thought Deco would be good, he's injured, he only played 25, scored the winner against Sunderland away. Unsigned Tom Rodic, all writer and Chalaba. Chalaba's not that good anymore. Swift got seven, signed Peters. The commentary first is wrong. They were 24 for 5 game weeks. Steve Bruce got sacked out of Luton. Why do Luton keep sacking managers? Or keep getting managers sacked? This could have been my worst prediction ever. Carlos Corberan saved it. He rejected to go back to Leeds. Are there any other teams that won 9 in a row? I watched this game, second game of the season. We could have won if Saar scored his penalty. We got bad. 19 shots. My top two teams was played on a Friday night. Jay Rodriguez penalty. Brandon Thomas a 97th minute. They were winning 1 0 against Sunderland and lost. They were winning 1 0 and 2 1 against Swansea and lost. They were losing to Norwich and 1 2 1. What a weird team. I put Swansea 8th. Their defence is the 5th worst. Two different goalkeepers. Maybe Bendel's injured. Joel Perrault, 20 goals. Did Patterson not score? He got 9 last year. Other than he got 12 last year. And now 3 did go to Burnley. I put Sunderland 14th. I said in a video, can they get back to back promotions like Sheffield United before they had back to back relegations? Alex Neal with the worst decision ever, joining Stoke, getting him to 16th. Second game of the season, they were 
two one down to Bristol City, and one. And this since went back to Everton as well. We got Gilhart. Yeah, the fans were right. They're playing fullbacks at centre back against West Brom, and they won. Ahmad Diallo, what a baller. He used to play over Anthony next season. His goal in the win against Birmingham. He didn't really do anything at Rangers, though. Ross Stewart played 13 times, 10 goals, 3 assists. I'm well confused how they've got 6. That's mental. Sunderland were 2-0 down at home to Watford on the penultimate day. They equalised or get a goal back straight away. 95th minute Patrick Roberts screamer to get them in on goal defence. At home another 2 all draw. They came back twice. Last second again it was Bennett. He took off his shirt. Instead of a Mill versus West Ham derby, let's get a Sunderland versus Newcastle derby. That would be tasty. I'm backing them in the playoffs. I'm backing all the teams other than Lugan, to be honest. I've always liked Sunderland over Newcastle. Also, bottling a Tunoli to QPR in the third game. Chair and Seni Dieng, the goalkeeper. Two goalkeepers have scored in the championship, the commentary guy at Blackburn. Sheffield United, I put them fourth. But I said, I feel like this has to be second place. I've been there since the 23rd game, you idiot. Billy Sharp is 36 37, only three goals. I said, where's the goals coming from? McBurney. At the time, he was injured. And Dye, who I don't really know much about before the season started. So where did they get him from? 14 goals, 11 assists. Borham Wood on a three. Are you taking the piss? Marseille youth down there. His value was 1.5 last season, it's now 15. He's good for Senna World World Cup and he's got against Spurs. Sanderberg decided to stay. O'Connor was injured for the whole season still. Bowl goal only 24 games. Looks like Egan played every game, 51. And Matt Hodzic got a team of the season. Put QPR 7th. I put them 21st two years ago. That's because they lost Eze. And they're lucky that Wigan and Redden had points deductions. I think it was Wigan that finished 24, Blackpool. 23rd, Reading 22nd. It's like Swansea and Portsmouth, Kalimo, Dudger and Jamolo, only three goals. Willock, six goals. Chair got five. I would have thought Rob Dickey, Ethan Lard, people like that would be good. Andre Dussel. Dyke's only got eight. Stolt City up at six. I always put them there. And I get let down every season. But as I always say, I don't care. I hope they end up in non-league. Surely that's the worst home form in the championship. Watford beat them 4-0. They beat Sheffield United, I think Jagielka scored. 
Born in Lens Reading, 3 1 win at Swansea. 5 1 and 3 2. 4 0. And then the phone dropped again. I don't get it. I said I would be sick because of the white girl. How many? Three. After Watford beat them 4 0. I saw a Stoke fan say on YouTube, the YouTube comments, that he's been offside six times and only one was the correct decision. My confidence would be in a bin. But everyone else, Campbell and Brian Noyne. Nick Powell only four, he's played 26 games. Did they have Burson three more, eight games? Lewis Baker 8. Jacob Yoke has played 30 games and he's 40. Dujon Sterling. He signed Hoover and Twan Sebi. Twan Sebi played 5. Suta went to Leicester. They played Bonham. Over everyone else. The lap was in there as well and he only got three goals was he doing giant throwings like his dads and he's a load of assists I bet and I had Cardiff in 16th only four points off it they have the second lowest amount of goals we've done the worst So Cabo was a good signing, 8 goals in 17, overhead kit against Watford, Callum Robinson was 7, there's another reason why I put West Brom first to be honest, Dowdo, Kip, Kip Trey with 3, didn't he score against Watford twice, MG one of their players of the season, also was their goalkeeper. They would have gone down if Redding didn't get that point seduction. And they also brought in Sabri Lamucci. Is he the forest one? That bottled playoffs on the last day to Stoke. Put Birmingham 21st. Been doing a career mode since this game where it's got Hogan, got a hat trick. I was never worried about them going down. 3 1 0 wins after the 3 0 defeat of Watford to keep them up. Their home and away record is nearly the same. But they've been mid table all season. Players on loan from Premier League clubs and players that have played in the Premier League. Dini's had an okay season. His leadership has helped. I've taken back at Watford. Sam goes for Dini. Then Keenan Davis has had it. So I'll take him back. Redding up at 18th. They are big wire around there all season. And then the points of Dutch miss him up. Is that points for some reason? The problem with this is Wigan not getting the points adoption. Andy Carroll wasn't there when I made the prediction video. Then Mayta and Yao have good seasons when they finish seventh. Tom Ince nine. They are, they are only eight games. Hendrick four goals. The Chelsea player, Scott Dunn, the Iron Arm, only played 42. I put Wigan 20th and he finished last. That was like a good roller coaster. Had three different managers Richardson, Colo Torre, and Sean Maloney. Carlo Torre lost his seven games. He conceded four, three times in a row. Twice at home. 
He didn't win any games. And it's Luton sucking. Get another manager sucked. It's not a good team at championship level. What was I thinking putting them 20th? Stephen Cook played 9. I put them 20th because they started match day 1 in the 1 there. And then I said, don't let me down with them. They let me down. Bristol City, I put 11th. Before that, I had them in the playoffs twice in a row. Three chances. They probably ain't. Matthew Wells with 11. So got them as I say, strong as Prune. Tommy Conway, 9. I don't know who that is. So the men you'll have to join Bournemouth. Sam Bale, 24. Game three goals. Alex got one goal. I watched him against Man City in the FA Cup. Cal Naismith. Cal has only played eight. Then he went to Wolves. Were they really top of the league after beating Preston? 2-1. 10 games unbeaten there. 80% of the players I had in this five years ago have had a mad season. It's a lot to go through. That's about Gary O'Neill keeping Bournemouth up. Also had Philip Billing and Lloyd Kelly from Bournemouth in that save. I think Lloyd Kelly captains Bournemouth. Josh Brownhill, Benson Manuel, Miguel Almiron. Jack Grealish roasting him, saying he's crap, basically, when he won the league, and he was insane for two months. Alex Merry, starting goalkeeper for Napoli. Charlie Masonda, finally left Chelsea and played his first game in over 1,000 days after a long injury. Joe Bryan moving to Nice, Haxa Banovic moving to Selwick. Adal not Dagenham at the FA Cup in the last minute for Gillingham. Bobby Reid, four goals in the Premier's all right. Kevin and Babu got the winning assist against Brentford and dipped. Harry Kane, as always. Canon Delda nominated for Cardiff's player of the season, not hard. Angus Gunn, somehow starting over Tim Court at Norwich. Had a still in goal, but it's not the Brighton one. And then Adam Webster, Che Adams has five goals. Declan Rice. Alfie Mawson, he retired this year at 29. And then Leeway Sane, he got beat up by Marnie. Pamara Jeju scored at the World Cup for Senegal. Reese Nelson, I panic bought Benson Manuel on the last hour of deadline day, but I remember wanting Reese more. And then Ryan Ken and Kim Pembe, I have no idea, they only exist in FIFA. I have Black one twenty seconds. Again we're gonna last. And then it's a two goal difference. Other team with three managers. Last year they had Neil Critchlow, Mick McCarthy, and then Stephen Dobby. Dobby is a 3 elf. He drew 3 3 at Turf Moor and Bremer Lane. 3 3 at Bristol City. I'm not too sure how that's gone down. 3 1 against Watford, Jerry Yates. Four two against Preston somewhere up there. When you're in that commentary. And maybe QPR six one, whatever that is there. That was when I was at Watford. I didn't have internet. I came back to find out they won six one and Man City won seven nil. 
Highlands won five. Again with Forest signing a player they're never gonna use. It loaned him to Olympiacos to play with James Rodriguez and Marcelo. And then in January he got loaned out again back to Blackpool. Here he is or fifteen. Leons Ek Patel. I put Blackburn 19 because I thought they were losing Brevet and Diaz. Apparently he's signed to Vidal. They've got a minus goal difference. And they have one less defeat and 19 of please Rotherham. They were outside the playoffs eight times. If I know they are keeping Verrett and Diaz, then I'll put them about 13th. It took them until January the 21st to draw a game. Then they draw three in a row. Five in a row, what? Test on 17th, they were only there once on the opening day. This team of the stars a joke. Four one win against Blackburn. Shed Evans got nine. Thomas Cannon on loan from Everton got eight. Power up four. Middlesbrough 9, they got 4th. They did the same thing that happened in the Birmingham career on season 1. Started off terrible and went on a mad win streak. They finished 3rd in that and beat me in the playoff final. Chris Wilder's record with Sheffield... Yeah. Since he got Sheffield United 9th in the Premier, it's been terrible. And then Tarek came in. And they finish there. I said in the video is Giles and at upon back there. Because they have the Wolves and PAOK badges there. At Pom didn't have a show number at the start of the season. They both got team of seasons in FIFA. Archer 11, 11 in 21. We should have got him from Villa or at Davis. Isaiah Jones is a good player. And I put Coventry in 10th, one place below Middlesbrough. I put Middlesbrough above them because they have Chris Wilder. Mid table for a lot of the season. 11 wins at home. And Golden's cheering the lads on. Form at the end of the season since February the 11th. Yeah, they lost 4 2 at Honda Knowledge and 4 0 at Honda Stoke. They were 2 0 down at Watford. Watford did that three times near the end of the season, by the way. Reading, Sunderland, and Coventry. Solid Arsenal, to be fair. 